to my youtube channel and today oh my god i'm so excited because i'm not alone i am with the fruit of my womb my two daughters my pride introducing <laughs> <laughs> hi guys how are you today hi so will you start by telling the people who you are what's your name and you know whatever else you want to say hi guys my name is cassie I'm 17. Can you hear her, guys? I don't think so. Why don't you talk louder? <laughs> Hi, guys. <Yay. laughs> um, Cassie. Mm -hmm. I'm 17. Ooh, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> and this is my mom. Ooh, yes. Give me five. Mm. All right, and what's yours, baby girl? Hi, guys. My name is Leslie. I'm 13 years old. Did you uh, said 39? Thirteen. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thirteen years old, and this is mom. Yay! Did you hear that, guys? I am mama. <laughs> so I will start by asking you guys. For example, what are your hobbies? Hobbies. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you love doing? Um, dancing, maybe. Uh huh. That's a good one. Oh, you can show us uh, some moves maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. What else? Do you have any other? Is it in a hobby? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, well, I think I thought you would have said singing because you like singing. Don't you? <laughs> that one too. <laughs> that one too. <laughs> and what are yours, babe? Football. <gasps> mm-hmm. Um, we have the next Diego Maradona here. <laughs> Ronaldo. <laughs> well, that Diego was what? He was a footballer, right? I, I <laughs> so, what are your hobbies, sweetheart? I mean, football and what else? Dancing. Dancing as well. Oh, okay. So, I have two dancers. Maybe I'm the third one, but no, I don't think you want to know my dancing <laughs> as you guys. Okay, so moving on. Today, I have a surprise for you guys. Yes, I'm going to be taking you down memory lane, reminding you of so many things in the past and how we got to where we are today, all right? Yeah. So, just before I do that, do you have anything you remember when you were growing up? Okay, when you're still growing up. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any memories up to where you are, you know, like, you know, do you? Um, when we used to go to Blue Springs for outings, mm -hmm. you remember that? What do you remember from that? Kids um, paintings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Casu, <laughs> um, do you remember anything? Uh, I think when we used to go to Blue Springs or horse riding, we did. Is it camel or horse? Horse. Horse, horse riding. You horse. didn't ride a camel? Mm, not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will tell you my best memories uh, with you guys. And the very, very important top of the list for me was when I gave birth to you. Like that first moment of holding you into my arms, I was like, oh my God, I'm blessed. The first time I held you into my arms though, I was scared <laughs> because you had like these very tiny eyes and then you were so small and then you, you removed something from your mouth <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, nurse, please come, she's vomiting. <laughs> and unfortunately for Leslie here, uh, you got sick seven days after delivery and we had to take you back to the hospital and it was very sad because you see you you had like the tiniest arms of, or hands and they were trying to find the veins and you know put the needle i'm sorry it's not a happy memory but i'm just like saying this is what i remember oh come here baby oh <laughs> but look at you now right you're up mm -hmm. and bouncing and do, and there was also some nice moments when because we didn't have money, by the way, guys, <laughs> which is okay. And we still managed to do birthday parties. It was only four people in attendance. Is it four? Okay, the two of you and then me, five people. 
it was my mom and my sister, the two of you and me, five people, because that's all we could afford. So I would maybe buy a small cake and we would celebrate. In fact, maybe later I'll show you some pictures. Do you, do you remember those birthday parties or not? <laughs> oh, well. So in school, sweetheart, what's your favorite uh, subject? English. English. And just English? Woo, okay, that's awesome. And yours? Mathematics and geography. That is awesome. I think you, 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 <laughs> I think it's because you want to be able to calculate money. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> hey guys, and I just remembered something. I mean, some of these memories might not necessarily be the happy memories, but they're what, they're the memories or they're the things that made us who we are today. Because without those kind of hardships, that we experienced or that I experienced bringing up these beautiful souls, <laughs> maybe I would not have been so hardworking. I mean, you know, just to say. Do you remember the things that happened when you were like four? Four? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really. Okay, I will remind you. So there's this one time. Oh my God, you almost <laughs> killed me with heart attack. <laughs> so she was two months old. And you were four. And I was going to the salon because I had to go to work. And so you followed me. I didn't know you had followed me. Imagine. <laughs> so you followed me and I got to the salon, did my hair. You didn't go into the salon because I think somewhere along the way you got mixed up or you, you know. And when I get, got out of the salon, like an hour or so later, I went back home and I asked my sister Anne, where is Casey? And she was like, I thought you were together. I almost started <laughs> I almost started screaming. And I went out out, you know, just outside the compound, walked into like, you know, trying to walk into all like directions I could, shouting your name. And about twenty minutes later, I saw some black because it was dark, eh? Something dark, very dark somewhere approaching. And it was you. I didn't even ask you any question. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I would have lost you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember the other time when Leslie got sick. She had a problem with her tummy. She had had some food poisoning. And so I didn't have anybody to leave Casey with. So I had to go with both of them to the hospital. And because Casey was only four, she fell asleep and she was only like, she lay down on one of those hospital beds, you know, those stretchers. She was lying down there, poor thing. <laughs> you kids have come from very, man, give me a high five, man. Give me a high five. Ah, you've come from far, but do you know, have you ever heard, no, this is a question I'm going to ask them. I want to hear their answer. Have you ever eaten a cow's tongue? Ew! Yeah, no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Are you for real? Never. Hundred percent sure you've never eaten a cow's tongue. Hundred percent. Never. You've never. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> when you were four years old, five years old, Leslie was up, actually up to seven years old. For five, six, no, four, five, and six. And you were two months old and you were, of course, like, you, you know, you're still growing. So at two months, of course, you're not eating solid food, yeah? But when you started eating, I would go and buy a cow's tongue for five Kenya shillings, chop it into small bits. <laughs> and cook it for you guys. Because it was the cheapest meat you would ever eat. So yes, you have eaten a who? <laughs> so if somebody asks you, if you have eaten a custard, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so you have eaten what? You have eaten what? Cow. <laughs> Not cow dung. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, I used to go out of the compound and ask, there was a neighbor, in fact, we should go visit that neighbor of ours. He was so generous and so nice to us he would give me 
some kale and spinach for free so that I would make for you, I would mix with the cow tongue, add some water to have some soup for her. <laughs> and that's how you all grew up. I mean, look at you now. Who would think you've eaten cow tongue? You know, it doesn't show on the forehead. Eh? <laughs> so guys, you've been flying in and out of Kenya, across the country as well. So Casey, do you have any specific flight that was your favorite? Yeah, I think the one that we traveled alone, like Leslie and I, and yeah. I was the one carrying everything, the passport. <laughs> oh, <and> so <laughs> you felt responsible, eh? <laughs> You're the one checking out all the directions, eh? That's nice, that's nice. You enjoyed the flight? Yeah. I hope you took care of Leslie on the flight. She was behind me. What? <laughs> we were together. <laughs> <laughs> and Leslie, what's your favorite flight? Um, When we flew from Mombasa to Nairobi. Mm-hmm. On business class. Whoa! That one I was there with you guys. That was your favorite. Mm -hmm. Ah, no wonder you were eating everything. <laughs> <laughs> you were eating literally everything. So guys, let me just say this now so that you know that you are really my favorite people. And everything I do in my life, everything, literally everything, even eating, <laughs> revolves around you guys. I mean, maybe I'm eating to get stronger to be able to go and look for more money. But you are my favorite persons. I love you with all my heart. And that is something that will never change. It's always been there. I work hard for you guys. I hope you're living or you're having your best, I don't know. I mean, you could tell me. Maybe you're, you're still lacking something. <laughs> but I love you and, oh, come here, my babies. Hey. Mm. 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 Say hi to the other we are squashing, Leslie. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> I have, I said I have a surprise for you. So, I am definitely going to show you the surprise. Oh my God, before I forget, guys, do you, because it's your first time on TV, <laughs> do you have uh, any shout outs to anybody, maybe your friends, this is a chance to do it, you know, Leslie, you have any shout outs? Um, Auntie Rara in Kenya, mm -hmm. Auntie Anne in Germany, yeah. Uncle Fred in Germany, <laughs> <laughs> um, my friends like... Um, Sonia, Julie, hey, 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 hey. Enough, enough. <laughs> Can you see anybody? Uh, big shout out to my best friend, mm -hmm. Collins and Nick, mm -hmm. Kagure, um, my classmates, Satima, Miss SpongeBob. And I know Miss SpongeBob. <laughs> Melanie. That's Melanie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Tina and all my friends. So then let's send them some love. Mwah! I hope you liked watching this video please don't forget to subscribe like and leave a comment to let us know what you think until next time it's adios love always bye